Hi Pisces, welcome to your week ahead Tarascope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant signs, so whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign Pisces, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings, not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine, you should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So this week, for your key to the week, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. And the feeling that I keep getting from this is, this week you personally might feel like what was the hold up? It's almost like the universe is now getting out of my way and I can just move forward. I don't think it's that at all. I just feel like the energy is much better this week. It's like there's a change in the tide. There's a change in the winds. There's things are moving in a direction or in a way that are going to see you really experiencing um, more of what you want in life, right? This is I, it's just a really great energy. And whenever the Wheel of Fortune shows up for us, things tend to get better. Things tend to get easier. And it does suggest a change in our luck or more importantly, a change in our circumstances. And this tends to be because we are in the right place at the right time. Don't question it. Don't ask why it hasn't happened up until now. Um, don't put any stipulations on it. It just is what it is, right? So be more present than that, than asking, you know, why hasn't what I've tried to do worked up until now? Now, that being said, if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves shirt. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share. And if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button for your actions and options this week. You've got the death card. Okay, so you've got this in the actions and options, which suggests that something that you are choosing to let go of this week is actually one of the best things that you could do for yourself. This is about freeing up internal space in the mind, the heart, the body. What I like about the death card as an actions and an options, because this is about what you do, right? It's about what you choose. This is you consciously choosing to let something go. And by doing so, you're going to start to align with or free up the energy that is maybe stagnant. And it might be that that's the thing that's been waiting this week, right? It's like almost rather than the, the universe getting out of your way, you're getting out of your own way. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there, trust me. Um, with your communications and conversations, you've got the page of pentacles, right? So this is great. Whatever you are working on in the background, whatever you are considering moving on or towards at this moment in time, wherever it is that you are trying to get something off the ground or, uh, you know, busy beavering away at things in the background, this is, again, right, this is where you're going to start to see some traction. This is where you're going to start to understand your unique voice matters. When it comes to those of you that are employed by somebody else, um, with the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Pentacles is literally talking about an idea that you have that could be great for everybody that you work with. Um, what I will say is, try to cut out the middleman, all right? Don't, like, this isn't a time, I don't advise you giving your idea to a supervisor for them to give to the manager with the death card there as well, right? Like, you, you go direct, go to the horse's mouth, as it were. For those of you that are business owners or people that work for themselves, what's that? Sorry, I've got something on my nose driving me mad. Um, for those of you that are business owners or people that work for themselves, um, that page of pentacles, if I'm honest, I kind of feel like this is you being a lot more vocal about what really sets you on fire, about what you've got to share with the world. And more importantly, the skills that you've acquired or gained up until now. For some of you, it looks like you've been going through a learning process and you're starting to factor these into the things that you want to do, maybe into your business. This is you getting really clear on a lot of this stuff for yourself. And I think this could be really helpful and really beneficial because when we start to integrate the skills that we've learned specifically for our business, business, it starts to grow, it starts to expand. The Wheel of Fortune is all about expansion and growth. Um, for those of you that are retired and no longer working, 
uh, this would be a time where getting very clear on the sequence of what you're bringing to the world uh, starts to look like. That's if you're planning to launch something, if you're just retired and you're retired. Maybe this is a time for you to think about going back to school in some way, shape or form. And even for those of you that aren't retired but not working at the moment, maybe some form of study is what you need at this moment in time. Um, I will second that because it's the page of pentacles with the wheel of fortune which is Jupiter ruled. Jupiter is currently in your sign so it makes total sense and Jupiter is the planet of higher education, higher wisdom, philosophy, new education, right? For uh, love and relations you've got the lover's card underneath the death card, right? So this could be a great week for love, for partnerships especially for those of you that are always out and about maybe you're always on your travels whether for work whether you know just because you're one of those natural social butterflies um there's definitely potential for you for you to meet someone this week but you've got this under the death card and it's weird because i kind of feel like this week somebody is interested in you but you're not interested in them and i kind of feel like this isn't personal it's just that you're not interested in anyone at the moment that tends to be when it finds you, all right? So be open to this, because I kind of feel like you might end up connecting with someone this week, and you might be like, me, whatever, and you know, they might be like, well, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's interesting, and I actually really like this for you. I don't know if you're ready to move on this yet, but you will be. So try not to be dismissive of anyone new that shows up if you're single. When it comes to those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments or relationships, um, I mean, I like this, but if I'm gonna, I'm gonna be really honest with you. I feel like you and your partner, you need to get out of dodge, get out of the place that you're in, right? Whether this is uh, you go to the, the go to the beach for the day, and it doesn't like when I say that, a lot of people are like, oh well, the weather doesn't allow it. Do you know how healing the beach can be, even when the weather is awful? Like, and sometimes just that change of scenery, it doesn't have to be to a beach, doesn't have to be a big fancy holiday. Sometimes just a change of the space that you see, um, you know, day in, day out can be very, very soothing and actually give the relationship the fresh life that it needs. So give it a consideration. And then for your money and materials, you got the two of cups, right? So I will say this, for those of you that are single, there is definitely love potential this week. For those of you that are partnered, there's definitely potential for you and your partner to improve your financial lot this week. Whether this is your finances take a, you know, get a boost, whether it's your partner's finances or both of them at the same time. If you want your money to continually grow and expand, you need to start thinking about ways that you can either diversify what you're doing or partner up with someone. All right, maybe even uh, lining up with an institution in some way, shape or form. When it comes to your uh, physical health and vitality, this is gonna be your chest as in your lungs and also your stomach. So those aspects of self take good care of this week. When it comes to your um, home and environment, it looks like home's gonna be busy this week, right? So it could be that you're inviting people over, it could be that there are invites, or it could be that you're spending a lot less time alone. And that kind of feels like it's the case. Whether this is for love, whether it's for a relationship, whether it's for partnership, whether it's just for you know social gatherings, there's a lot more interaction this week. And I think it could be a lot of fun. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.